allocate them, we have the scroll of the humanity, the bond that keeps all the record, be it individual, family, town, country, the whole world. We are here at the present. And we say present because it is a gift. If you do not respect you being here, you have to begin to think now. This is a present to you, a gift. You have to enjoy being here or on the street today. Yesterday is gone. It will not come. Tomorrow we don't know what will happen tonight. Enjoy today the present, the gift. Ancestors are located in this segment that we call the past. All the ancestors are in this segment. They are not found on the present, although we know the present prepare the ancestors of tomorrow. But we do not find them in the present. None in the future. Because the future is a cloud. We don't know what is coming in the future. Ancestors are in a segment of the past. And because they are in this segment of the past, there are many, many things involve on this segment of the past, as we will see later on about all this issue of the ancestors. On this column, as an individual, anything we do today, it is tied in a knot, and the more this coil is rolling, and here is hiding it, it goes deeper in the past. Do not let it pass your gift meaning you are today. You were at work. You did argue with your colleague at work. Do not go sleep tonight without calling him and say, I'm sorry uh, I used a loud voice to yell at you. You will be in peace when you see him tomorrow. But if you don't, when you go to your office, the first person you will see in area it will be him or her. And what will happen to you? The anger you had yesterday will do what? Huh? Be present. It will be present, but how present? It will grow. Huh? It will grow. It will be double. And if you do not deal with that issue the third day, it will be double. And then there will be time, the nature is calling you to go to the bathroom, but because your enemy is in a hallway, you will not go out. <laughs> and you know what can happen. So do not pass your day, which is your gift. Always before you go to sleep, 
check that segment of the day. What did I do wrong that can prevent me to grow? Because if you cannot deal with that issue, it will become a knot. Remember what we saw the first picture? The knots? We suffer because of the knot. We tie ourselves unwillingly, not knowing. And you tie that knot, it is there. It will haunt you all your life until you untie it. And uh, in a way, so we do not yet, we did not yet discover the process of untying the problems. People who go to the hospital to have all kinds of medications, they are not sick. Their problem is knots. They have to untie those knots that they did tie against their dead mothers, against their dead grandmothers, against their dead great great parents. Now they are dead, who will deal with those knots? You need a specialist who knows how to. Otherwise, you will continue to show all kinds of pills. And you will never find the cure. Because it is just a knot. And sometimes you have just to learn spoken medicine, words to say. Once you say those words, the knot loosens itself. Spoken words, we do not hear this in the West. It is important for us to know this. Nations have to learn to untie knots that separate them. If we can't, we will never stop wars. Until the knots that we did tie, all oh, those people are evil. Those people, no, they do not believe to God. Do you? Because if you do, you will not use that expression for somebody else. So you are the one who do not believe in God. Only the truth. So we have a truly to find ourselves through the deepest way of understanding who we are. Now we have seen the ancestors are gone, they are in a vacation. They did grow up in a special way. We know they are in a segment of the past on the cosmic scroll of the humanity. But how do we know that this is a specific person? Went to the group of the ancestors. How do we know it? <laughs> 